going to tell John, Marty. I'm going to tell him what you did, that he has a son, a son that he wanted, and a son that he loved. It's, it's time to make it right, Marty. Yes, it is! You have a visitor. Thank you. You look like you are expecting someone else. No, oh, guard didn't say it was. But maybe Blair. Sorry, just me. I'm relieved to see you, Barito. You here as my sister or my lawyer? Neither. What is it, Tam? You can't keep me in the dark anymore. I know everything now. I know what's in that classified file. What happened? They stopped giving you your happy pills? What is this? What is he doing today, Agent Kent? No change. No activity at all? No, Baker. He's the same as he always is. It's nothing. Give it back to me. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, looky, looky. Daddy is lying to his daughter. Wow. Well, he's never done that before, has he? Can you, can you hear me, please? I mean, can you, can you please just squeeze my hand? Please. I'm sorry I can't be more optimistic. What's the prognosis? It depends on what we find when we open her up, how much organ damage, how well we can control the bleeding. It could go either way. I can promise you Marty Saybrook is going to pay for what she's done. Your job is to give us back Kelly. As soon as the OR tells us, our second team's in place. Are you sure she's stable? Her pressure's holding. Uh, we'll take her up as soon as possible. Thank you, Doctor. I just saw Clint. Dickie he says this isn't a good time right now. Well, I was kind of wondering how you got a hold of that recording of Echo and... Please! Not now! What's wrong? It's Kelly. She's been stabbed. Stabbed? Good Lord, who did it? No one can take John from me again. Especially not you. What's mom talking about? How would I know? I don't even know what the hell she's doing here. I was expecting Taya. Well, you got your ex and your daughter, so why don't you deal with it? Yeah, I figured she'd spend more time with a man who shot me than she would with me. If you're talking about Tomas... Yes, I'm talking about Tomas! Todd? He tried to kill me. Who else would I be talking about? Oh, Tomas is Taya's brother. Maybe you could possibly understand why she would, might want to give him the benefit what of the doubt. she's giving him is time to poison her against me. What could Tomas possibly say that would turn her against her own husband? Hmm? Which file? 
The encrypted file the CIA has on you ring any bells? The one so top secret no one could crack it? Well, sorry to tell you, it's been cracked. By Detective McBain? No, not by Detective McBain. He couldn't get anything from the CIA. You ask me, he's burnt a few bridges with them. Now, Commissioner Buchanan, he has friends in high places. Buchanan talked to someone at the CIA? He got them on the phone. I talked to them. Or I should say, I listened. <laughs> I now know the cold, hard truth about my brother. Yes, just behind the Angel Square Hotel. She's, she's unresponsive, her pulse is weak. It looks like she's suffered major trouble. Let's just get here! Hey, listen to me. Everything's gonna be all right. All right? And this is on its way. It's gonna get you to the hospital. Save your strength. You know, because because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need to get out of here, and you have to get out of here because I have so much to make up for. So so much. So please give me a chance to try. So apparently, rumors of Marty Saybrook's progress have been greatly exaggerated. But why would she stab Kelly? I don't know the details, but apparently it happened in John McBain's hotel room. It was about John. John has shown an interest in Kelly. And Marty felt that was sufficient reason to go after Kelly with a kitchen knife. Oh God, I can't believe this. She wanted Kelly out of the way, and God help us. She may get her wish. No, 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 don't, don't say that, Dorian. Vicky, she's lost four liters of blood. She may not make it. Okay. Don't move. Don't move, okay? You gotta stay still. Are you in pain? You should be. Listen, everything's gonna be all right, okay? I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Easy, easy. What is it? John? Yeah, I got the call. Oh, my God. Natalie, what happened? I don't know. I found her like this. I think she fell from the roof. The roof? How did she survive that? She hit this awning on the way down. I got EMS on the way. How did she fall? Maybe she was pushed. Marty? When the APB heard she attacked Kelly, did she come after Natalie, too? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Natalie. What is it? What do you want to say? No, no, Dorian. Of course she's going to make it. My goodness, the doctors have got her this far, and she's young, and she's mm -hmm. strong. But you should see her, Vicky. My once strong and vibrant, take no prisoners, Kelly is pale and still. The life just ebbing out of her. Hey, don't forget where she came from, okay? She's a fighter, just like you. And you taught her that. You gave her everything she needs to survive this. Thank you, those are very kind words. No, it's not kind, it's just true. Are they going to operate on her? They've been 
pouring blood into her ever since they got her here. Uh, we're just waiting now for the second call team to arrive. Well, I'm sure they'll be here as soon as they can, you know? Joe's in with her now. Joey. Yeah. He hasn't been able to leave her side. I hope in some way she knows that he's there with her because she still has very deep feelings for him. Actually, it goes both ways. Those two were meant to be together. And if they had been together, then Kelly might not be fighting for her life right now. How could I yell at you for trying to talk to me about Aubrey? I mean, all you were trying to do was trying to protect me. And you were trying to spare me some pain, and I was too blind to see it. Just blind and stupid, stubborn. You know, but I think you know a little thing about being stubborn yourself. And believe me, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm just gonna pretend that, that, that you're sleeping. You know, like that morning when we ro woke up together at Rhodey's and, and you were in my arms and it felt so right, Kelly. It really did. You know, and I meant it, what I said. <sighs> that if I knew there was a chance for us before I met Aubrey, I would have been back here so fast. Bad timing. Just like it's bad timing, and I'm telling all of you this now. <laughs>